Why, hello. This is going to be a little bit of a different thing here today. No, not because we're doing another new game, or not because we can run something, although, by the way, we still need to convince him to run something. But this is going to be something a little different because this is... Um, I don't want to say it's down in quality because this is going to be just the direct-to-TV version of, of, of uh, Next Gen, but um, I'm not entirely sure what happened. I'm fairly certain there was an invasion of squirrels, but it could also be the fact that the Chibicabra got out. But anyway, somebody's internet is messing up, yeah. so we unfortunately are just doing this as a local recording and we'll be going straight to YouTube. This is a YouTube-only version, so I apologize for any of those of you who were uh, on Twitch trying to find this and wondering what happened to Episode 8. Yeah. This is what's happening to Episode uh, 8. Uh, well, actually, Episode 8's already up on YouTube. This is Episode 9. Oh, is it, is yes. it, is yeah. it Issue 9? Okay. Well, excuse me. I can't even keep track of my stuff. Right. Uh, this is Bay City Chronicles Presents Next Gen Issue 9, and this is going to be the scariest event yet for all of our heroes. It's homecoming. Time. Perfect, oh, Alice isn't no. going. <laughs> Gianna's too young. Yes. <laughs> it is homecoming. It's going to be the scariest issue yet. <laughs> As a fair warning, everybody, I hope you brought your NPC creating chops because you might need them. <laughs> also, speaking of the everybody who is here, we do have our normal cavalcade of characters here uh, just happily waiting to uh, roll low on moves and high on powerful blows, or maybe that's just Nora. But anyway, Nora's here. <laughs> hey. Uh, the best hair in the business that. is also here, that of course being Chameleon Ice. <laughs> and um i guess i guess we can start calling you a cat dad now is that right PT? pretty much yeah okay i mean you're not the only one I, I have a new one too randomly uh so you may end up randomly seeing the general show up here but uh yeah i'm tge that's the cast of characters and uh we are going to be getting going here with bay city chronicles presents presents next gen issue number nine homecoming uh so if you missed last issue, it was sort of a mini Halloween special where uh, some things happened. Uh, the Chibicabra made noises. Gianna, uh, you know, something took a bite out of Gianna. Um, uh, Drake fell through more things. And uh, there may or may not have been a stage fright robot. Uh, but if you want more information about that, go ahead, go to the YouTube playlist and look up issue eight. Uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, but anyway, we are here in issue nine. So on the cover, Gianna, Alex, and Drake are in a dimly lit high school gymnasium. There are lights swirling all around the ceiling like some weird 70s disco ball. <laughs> if you look in the back of the room, the, the dance floor itself is completely empty because this is a high school dance and everyone's too awkward to go and dance. But if you look through the door in the back of the gym, there are four sets of eyes looking in, all with evil intent. But before we get to the high school gym, we have got some things that we need to take care of. Because I believe back at the end of Lucid Dream, or even before Lucid Dream, so back at the end of issue six, I believe somebody wanted to do a little digging into the past of one Mr. Chase Cassidy. Am I correct? Oh, yeah, I actually forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, I did not. But even before that, there is something that needs to happen even before that. Okay. We've got a couple of people here who've got some time passes moves that need to be rolled because they haven't been rolled in a bit here. So, OPT, we're going to start with you. When time passes, roll plus mundane to see how you are managing all of your Janus obligations. On a hit, things are going pretty well. You have an opportunity or advantage thanks to one of those obligations. On a 7 to 9, you've lapsed on one, your choice. On a miss, you haven't given your normal life nearly the attention it deserves, and I get to choose two obligations that will bite you in the butt. So, you have lapsed on one of your three obligations. Which one of these three have you lapsed on? I'm trying to think which one would logically be. Well, the logical answer is always and forever will be schoolwork. Not necessarily, considering what happened last time, but he may be... Um... Yeah, I guess so. Okay, let me jot that down in my little handy dandy notebook here. <clears throat> uh, 
And you are not the only one who has to roll. <clears throat> so, whatever time passes, uh, Drake, you get to roll plus Savior to see how the members of your legacy feel or react to your most recent exploits. That is a seven. Okay. Uh, on a hit, one of them offers you meaningful opportunity or advantage. On a seven to nine, another one is upset with your most recent actions and will make their displeasure known. So, I will again mark that down. And uh, I have that in my back pocket, and we will get to that here in a minute. But first things first, uh, we are going to start this comic uh, where we've started a lot of these next-gen comics. That, of course, being... Uh, Alex in his room on his computer. Uh, but this time he is he is doing what he does. He is digging into uh, digging into people's past. He is trying to dig up some dirt on Mr. Chase Cassidy. So normally, this role, this move, would be done with superior. But because of the nature of your powers and the fact that you are an avid computer hacker, you may choose to roll either superior or freak. Okay. Superior is fine, because my freak's okay. negative two. Okay. And superior is literally a straight roll. All right. Ugh. And unfortunately, there's no way anyone can spend team unless you want to spend it. Gosh, I thought I... I wonder if I still have any of those stupid things. I don't think I do. Nope. I think we erased them after the dreaming session. Uh, I don't remember that, but okay. Yes, if you would like to spend the one team selfishly, you certainly can. I'm trying to think how I would do that. Um, because that has to be. Uh, when you spend team selfishly, you explain how your actions hurt, uh, or otherwise, uh, you know, discourage or. Uh, let me actually get the actual rules here. Uh, team, 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 team. Where are you, team? Uh, when you act selfishly, say how your actions ignore or insult, remove a team from the pool, and shift one label up and one label down choice. You can use this option after rolling to alter the label you're rolling. Yeah. No? I, I said yeah, but I can't think okay. of how I would do that. Well, considering the fact that you are at least well known to be friends with at least, you know, Drake... And Gianna, right? And the fact that it has been well known that people have seen Drake do that whole transform thing. Uh, the fact that you are digging into the backstory and life of a high-profile figure in the community without consulting them, and it may get them into trouble—that's pretty selfish. Fair point. So yeah, I guess I'm ignoring the repercussions that this could cause anybody in order to do this. Okay, so we will adjust our team to zero, and now you get to see the move. When you dig into an existing character's past through documents and records, oh, roll plus superior. Oh, hold on, do I actually have to shift the label first? Yes, you do have to shift the label. Superior shifts up, and any other label shifts Except Freak, of course, because you can't. Right. Um, probably going to shift Danger down. Okay. Feels right. I think shifting Savior down feels more right here, but... Oh, uh, actually, you're not wrong on that. That's a good point. <laughs> Alright, so, when you dig into an existing character's past through documents and records, roll plus superior. On a hit, you find revealing information. Choose and ask one. On a 10 plus, you may ask a follow-up question. The questions you can ask are, what crime did they commit? What embarrassing secret did they hide? Or how did they blunder early in their career? On a miss, your investigations tip off somebody who'd rather you stop looking, and they make sure you know about that on no uncertain terms. So, uh, suffice to say, you got the two, one of the two fun options. Yeah. <laughs> so, which one of these questions are you asking and digging into to find about one Mr. Chase? What crime did he commit? What crime did he commit? Well, there's an easy answer to that question. Okay. 
And, and the easy answer to that question would be libel. Or slander. That's not really a crime, but okay. No, no. I said there's an easy answer. It's yeah. not the answer that happened, but that's an easy <coughs> answer. Fair. So, <clears throat> digging into Chase Cassidy's past, it takes you a while. Because this is buried deep. And I mean deep. Like, <laughs> you've had to go deep, deep into the dark web to find this. <laughs> uh no, like, seriously. Yeah. Like, basically all public records were expunged. Like, the only information you can that you even found for a breadcrumb on this was an old archived webpage blog that has sent... The, the blog itself has long been deleted. Mm -hmm. But it was a webpage blog with a picture of a newspaper article from back in the early 90s. That is describing a DUI hit and run with a very young Chase Cassidy behind the wheel. There is no information as to how it got scrubbed from the record, why it got scrubbed from the record, who thought it was a good idea to scrub it. You can also find no information of any, uh, any jail time that may or may not have been served. Nothing. You find this one piece. You know the article, in the newspaper article is legit because it is, you know, uh, it is, pardon the pun, it is the Bay City Chronicle uh, from about 20 years ago. So it's a legit paper. That paper is still in existence. You're fairly certain that you may be able to go into some old storerooms and archives at one of their warehouses and potentially find old papers. Oh, well, there's that. You're not I sure how... I actually had a different idea, but that's true. I'm just saying, that's just something that you've come up with. If do you have I, other ideas, can I you find, certainly can. Can I, do I get the date from this newspaper? Do you get the date from this newspaper? Yes, what date would you like it to be in 99? <laughs> it's whatever date you want it to be. <laughs> May 22nd. Okay, May 22nd it is. You said what year was that? I'm sorry, 1999? 1999. 1999. Yes, and this was back like literally. This was would have been his first year in journalism. The whole shebang. So, you now have this information. What do you do? Do I know? And I know this. This would be a lot more public. I think. Do I know if Chase ever worked for the Bay City Chronicle, ever wrote for the Bay City Chronicle? I know he's... He did not. Okay. He has always been a in-front-of-the-camera guy. Right. He was, you know, he was the guy, you know, fresh out of college, doing, like, the, the local sports parades or local, like, parades that nobody wanted to cover. You know, always working the holidays and working his way up. But he has always been ambitious. He has al always been... You know, that guy. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, usually when people are that ambitious, there's usually a, a trail, I, I'm using the term loosely here, a trail of bodies mm. of people they've stepped on to get where they are. Right. Everything you seem to find says that everyone likes this guy. Like, you can't find one bit of information that says people don't like him. And you know that he at least has a likable personality because for crying out loud, your mother likes him. Yeah. Hashtag swoon. Hashtag questionable taste in men. There's a joke about your father in there somewhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I said it. All right. So with that, Alex is going to quickly pull out of every dark web part he's in. So try to cover up his tracks as best he possibly can. And, um... What time of the day would it be? What time of the day would it be? That's a good question. It's because normally there's something like this. He feels like he'd do at night. Okay, so this is probably what he was doing during the costume shopping incident. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that's exactly what happened. What, what, while uh, while Hunter break costume shopping uh, for the full Baby Shark ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I nailed that provoke roll, by the way. <laughs> uh, you were busy digging deep into information on, uh, on Mr. Cassidy. 
So uh, if you would like to get people involved in that, certainly uh, it can be the next day. It can be, at, it can be uh, on All Saints Day. It can be afterwards. You, know, you can do what you like with that information. Um, yeah, so what happens is Alex just looks over at his um, backpack and realizes that he has forgotten about some of the homework that he has, and he's too tired to do it, so he just goes to sleep. And then wakes up the next day, and you know, gets up, showers, and gets ready to go to school. Okay. So, um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and, and fast forward a couple of days. Uh, you guys can, obviously you would have met, communicated, everything that would have happened, that's fine. Unless there's any scenes that anyone wants to play out that is of time-sensitive importance, or we can just switch to the next week when we can do all that. I mean, something kind of major happened to Gigi. I right. don't know if she would mention it or not. I'm not sure she entirely understands it. That's fair. Right. I should at least tell Drake that she was injured. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, she would tell Alex that she was injured. That's something bitter. <laughs> that she was feeling kind of strange afterwards. That's yeah, what he said. It's a chibi cobra echoing everything that happened, by the way. I have way too much fun okay. with that uh, So what's happening is Gigi's telling the story, and Alex is like, like Alex is sitting there watching, and then the Chibi Cobra like does this, its thing at the same time. It just kind of keeps yeah. going back and forth, and he find, at, she finally stops, and he's like, okay, so I just have one question before we go any further. He came back with me from the dream world. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Chibi Cobra walks up and looks very insulted. <laughs> What's he saying? I don't know. He looks at I'm you. asking. <laughs> I should know what he's saying. You can clearly tell he's yelling at him for no. For what? <laughs> Not remembering him. Yes, he he's saying things that I can't repeat mm -hmm. because. <laughs> right. Uh, he obviously, just you don't remember him from our adventure. Oh. No, I remember him. I just don't remember why he's here now. I thought that was a dream. Also, at this point, the Chibi Carper scoots over, looks longingly at Drake's lunchbox, realizes what happened last time, goes over to Gianna's, rips open the Twinkie. <laughs> Only eat one today, okay? <laughs> okay, one and a half. <laughs> Alex just shoved Pat's at ten. I can't tell if you're scared because of the way I'm acting or not. <laughs> what? <laughs> so apparently, the Chippy Cobra likes ear scratches. Yeah. I mean, what creature? Does? Barely has ears. Nothing wrong with this at all. No, not at all. What's Drake's reaction to all this, by the way? <laughs> Drake's just eyeing it after it trying to get near its lunch pail. Or his lunch pail. It's like, <laughs> I will end you. <laughs> well, because this is long, intense stare down between Drake and the Chibi Cabra. It's like, you know one of those like, versus panels you get in like, the comic book fighting games, which is like, like the line drawn between, they're both staring at each other? Mm -hmm. Like, that's the panel we get. Exactly. Uh... So Alex hasn't actually told them exactly what he found yet, because he's waiting for a, a time to really bring it up. He didn't even tell us he was going to be doing No. It's kind of the reason why he's not telling you he found anything. <laughs> Gigi is going to, like, kind of idly rub the sore spot on her neck, and there probably is a visible, I'm guessing, a bite from the Vambi. Alex gonna... Would that be correct? That would be correct. A couple of all. Yeah. Oh, it looks, looks over. It's like, Gigi, it looks like you got bit by a vampire or something. I think it was like a vampire bat person. Oh. The, the chibi it cobra like... gives its best impression of what a vampire looks like. It's adorable and not scary at all. I'm guessing it wasn't that cute. Well, I don't know. They kind of had big hands and big ears, Kind of cute, but they were also really scary in the face, and 
they were really mean. The, the, the but... picture should be visible to people. Yep. If uh, they forgot what the babies looked like. But the bike kind of itches a bit. Well, don't scratch it too much. Maybe get some... I don't know if there's any kind of cream for that or something, but just keep an eye on it. <laughs> Hunter giggles. <laughs> Sorry. For some reason, I thought the word cream was funny. I see. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for Vandy. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, OPT, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Roll plus freak for me. <laughs> okay. There. No, that's fine. You hear. I know what's wrong. Alex looks around immediately. Like, what the... By the way, you get to mark potential for that. Oh, yay. <laughs> he looks around like, did someone just say something? I didn't hear anything. I don't think Chibi was saying any real words this time. He looks at you. <laughs> Pretty much saying, of course I'm saying real words. Which, by the way, even though you under you understand him, it's clearly not real words. Oh, clearly, yes. It's clearly gibberish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's clearly just posturing. Okay. That was weird. I swear, was I, heard, weird. I, swear I heard something. You did. I know what's wrong with her. Where are we right now, anyway? I would imagine the cafeteria. Because right. we're having lunch. Yep. Alright. So Alex <laughs> actually only about half finished with his lunch kind of stands up says hey, um I gotta go um I need the extra study time cause I'm behind a bit um catch you guys after school? Yeah be careful. Yeah absolutely 100% take care of yourself GG Drake Hunter bye and Alex just kind of walks to a study hall for the rest of his lunch period. Or at least that's where he yeah. says he's going. It's not where he goes. Um, guys, anything feel a little weird to you about, about Alex today? A little, but he's been kind of weird since we joined up with that group anyway. He's been going to the gym a lot and not being yeah. around as much. Yeah, my, my... My brother keeps saying that he's there way too much. So, I know, I think something's bothering also, Drake? Yeah? Why is there feathers on the back of your collar? <laughs> he goes and plucks like three ridiculously large goose feathers from your shirt. Yeah, that's a thing. He's molting. Wait, wait. Oh, that reminds me. Who's molting? It reminds you of what? Oh, um, it's just... Uh, Drake. Uh, yeah. do you know anybody who might be a very good trainer for... a pet? I mean, I mean a good friend! At this point, he's a little mad at you, and a little mad at you asked Drake, so he just curls up on Hunter's shoulder, the only one left who hasn't made him mad. A muzzle would be a good start. No! He jumps at you and starts kneading at your hair. Chibi! Oh, that feels good. No, no, let it go. Uh, I'm happy nobody can see this. Are you sure about this? Think. <laughs> He goes and curls back up in the poof. So, I, I, um... No, I don't know any chibi sitters. I just want somebody who can tell me train him and, like, at least make him a little bit calmer. And, you know, people who know dragons! Well, um, 
we can take him to the lair and see what the goose says. Okay. That sounds great. Sounds horrifying, but whatever. There's a goose in my closet. I'll make sure to bring some bread. Okay. Since no one else has any comments about well, that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Where Alex is there Alex? To come? Go. Uh, Alex goes to a bathroom. Okay. Um, where no one's at. There is always a bathroom like that in every high school. Exactly. So he's going to go there. It's the same one Hunter used to crawl into the vents way back in right. uh, issue four, I think it was. So he's going to look in like the mirror, kind of turn the water on like he's washing his hands, and then say, Who said that? You get no response. What's going on with her? Are you washing your face or are you looking in the mirror? Looking in the mirror. Okay, you still get no response. So he looks down and washes his hands. Kind of when he looks back up into the mirror, uh, in the mirror, basically on top of his head, or with the reflection of anyway, is a crow. Ah! No, 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 it's not on It's not on. I know, but just... The, the, I'm just saying okay. the thing. Like, yeah. Ah! Right, go. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's weird. Is it, though? Yeah, no. Pretty weird. Uh, Caster, right? You remembered a matter. You were interesting to me. I'm also interested in you. Um. Okay. Slightly oh. flattered, slightly creeped out by that. That's usually the response I get. Oh, okay. Well, good. I said I'm not abnormal much. No, I didn't mean to ruffle your feathers. So anyway, um... <laughs> what's going on with her? She's been infected. By... A necrotic curse. I see. Yes. Something that potentially could have been prevented. But you decided you wanted to dig too deep into somebody's past instead of being with your friend. I didn't exactly expect them to go on an actual adventure now, did I? I'm just saying... They couldn't get a hold of you, could they? They didn't try. Did you bother to check for any missed text messages? Yeah, of course I did. Alex pulls his phone out. Does he have any text messages? Oh, there's definitely like four, five, six, seven different messages from Hunter saying, hey, we're going college. And Gigi sent one too. <laughs> and Gigi right. did send one too. <laughs> right, so he looks at his like, oh, shoot. I guess I did put in airplane mode, didn't I? <clears throat> right. <clears throat> I just wanted to point it out to you. How do you fix a necrotic curse? The heck even is that? Oh, I'm assuming that you've seen horror movies. I mean, yeah. A couple what of them. when you get bitten by a vampire? Get, you turn into a vampire? What happens when you get bitten by a zombie? You either you die and then turn into a zombie? What happens if you get bitten by something that's a combination of both? Um, you turn into an un, undead vampire? Well, aren't vampires kind of already a more... I, I don't know. The term is vampy. Oh. Who made that up? That sounds... Okay, never mind. 
Don't ask me. I wouldn't have named them that either. Okay, go good. We're on the same page on that. How does one fix that? Well, there's an easy way and a hard way. Okay. What's the hard way? The hard way is you find someone who could potentially have knowledge in dealing with divine purification arts and magic. And maybe if you get lucky, you can find one who could potentially, maybe, find a way to purify all that necrotic energy from her. If you can even find one. Okay. Sounds like a challenge, but I'm up for it. Mm-hmm. What's the easy way? I can do it. Uh-huh. For what? what clearly you you're going to ask me for something if I say you know, I want you to do it. What are you willing to offer? I'm not sure I know what I can offer you, quite honestly speaking. What would you want? Well... Um, I can give you some options for that if you'd like. Okay. This is, no, this is me. This is me, the GM yes, saying. I, yeah, fine. <laughs> okay. When you make an impossible deal with Caster the Crow, name what you want, and offer one of the following in return. You can owe the crow a favor, and I get to hold one. You can pay something dearly right now, or you can enable a scheme by giving the crow key information about the world or another PC that was supposed to be secret. Why don't I get back to you on that as I think about what I could possibly offer you? Because that sounds like a big deal. And I need to put some thought into what I could actually give you. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> I have easy ways to be contacted. Clearly. And as you look back into the mirror, if you're looking down or whatever, the crow is gone. <sighs> Alex kind of stares in the mirror for a while and sighs and shakes his head and just turns the water off, dries his hands off and walks out of the bathroom looking absolutely dejected. When you walk out of the bathroom, leaning against one of the lockers is someone you recognize. I'm assuming it's a teacher, but yes. No, oh. it is not a teacher. It is. The black-haired boy from The Dreaming. Oh, hi. Why, hello. He's got, he has got a Cheshire Cat grin on his face. What is, what, hi, what do you want? What? I can't, you know, walk by and hear a voice I recognize, stop and thank you. Appreciate that, you're grinning like there's something sneaky going on. At this point, I'm kind of tired of sneaky. Well, nobody ever goes to this bathroom. So, who were you talking to in there? Apparently myself. Hmm. Apparently. Good to know. Yeah. It's Friend? A, it's a long story. Wait. Hold on, wait. This guy, this kid was with us down there, right? This was the kid who was staring into the, the, uh, yeah. the cauldron. Yeah, do you know a crow by the name of Castor? I didn't realize we were naming crows. I didn't name him. That's what he told me his name was. He's from that dreamscape we were in. Oh, he was now, was he? Yeah. I don't trust him so much. Why would you think I would know who he was? You were there, and we kind of had to walk past him to get to you. I was staring into a fountain. Fair. Yeah, it just, ever since I've gone to that place, my mind is just not with reality much lately. <laughs> well, 
Maybe there's ways to fix that? What would you suggest? Maybe talking to somebody about it? Yeah, I'm going to talk about my magical journey to a dreamscape with somebody. You don't have anyone you could talk to about that at all? I mean, it's just GG, there's Drake, they were both there, but... Then you're telling me they don't qualify? I don't want to worry them. Don't you think... That by sneaking off by yourself in the middle of lunchtime to an abandoned bathroom floor of the school is going to worry them? They don't know where I went. Maybe that's for the best. I don't know. <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel, then... That's the way you feel. There's nothing else anyone else is going to do to keep the weather. By the way, if you haven't already done got it, please mark guilty. I have no conditions, so yeah. <laughs> he looks Must down. be nice. He looks down. <laughs> You're just, a nova. You're supposed to have conditions, right? And he looks down. It's just like I, I've already screwed up once, and she's just. I don't want to worry her with this right now. Is it really going to worry her if you tell her you're working on whatever her problem is? Might be if she finds out what the problem is. I'm hoping I can try to fix it before she even has to know about it. Fair enough. Well, let me ask you this one. What happens if you can't fix it? And then you tell her you knew about it. I'm not planning on not telling her for long. I just want to make a few checks before I drop something like that on her. She's 13. 13, 12. 13. She's 13. I, I don't know how she takes something like that. Besides, I'm... I'm going to... I will tell her, just... I need, I need to check a few things first before I do that, because... I want to actually come with a solution, too. That's... Oh, speaking of things you should probably check on. He looks down at a non-existent watch. Three, two, one. He just looks... Oh! There you are. Mr. Stanton. And, uh... Behind him or whatever. <laughs> and your English teacher, Mr. Thompson, is... Hi, Mr. Thompson. Did, uh, we forget to turn something in today? No, I didn't forget to turn it in today, Mr. Thompson. I forgot to do it entirely. Oh, well, sorry. Taking ownership of being forgetful. I can respect that. I'll I'll make it up, I promise. I I've just I've been dealing with a few things lately and my mind is not in school and it needs to be, and I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help out? If you're if you were ever faced with an impossible choice where if you made it you might be able to help out a good friend of yours. But in the process, you might hurt a lot of people. What would you do? I don't know. I've never been put in that situation. But what I can tell you is that back before I was doing this in the military, which, this is the first time you've heard him mention being in the military. Right. There was a mentality that a certain elite unit of sharpshooters would have. And their mantra, maybe it helps you here, maybe it doesn't. But their mantra was, kill one, save a thousand. 
ask yourself which is more important. I'm not suggesting you kill anybody. No. I'm just saying, use that mantra. Figure it out. Which is more important? The one person to you or the thousands that may get hurt because of you? Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. If decisions like that were easy, everyone would be able to make Guys, <laughs> works and looks up at him and says, that's a good point. I'll, um, I'll say after a bit today, Mr. Thompson, and get this assignment done, I promise. Um, by the way, why were you talking to yourself when I walked up? He looks at the space where the child had been. Assuming, There's nobody there. Yeah, assuming <laughs> that. He kind of looks up and says, just thinking out loud kind of helps me process things sometimes. It's probably a little weird, but yeah. Said I've had a lot on my mind lately. Do you want me to schedule you an appointment with a school psychologist? I might take you up on that at some point, and I'm not even joking. But right now, no. Are you sure? No, but... I think I'll make I... you an appointment. Thank you. I make suggestion three o'clock today. Fair enough. Should probably call mom and let her know I'm going to be late. Probably a good idea. So, um, Alex heads off to the office area so he can make said phone call. So. Uh, is there anything that Gia? Actually, we are gonna we are gonna go back to uh, the cafeteria here <laughs> for a minute because Hunter is like, oh, by, by the way, guys. Um, so we're we're we're, we're specifically looking at Gigi because same grade, but also Drake because it's Drake and he can convince Drake to do anything with food. <laughs> so um, so you guys want to like be helped with all the homecoming parade stuff? It's gonna be fun. There's floats, and there'll be candy and balloons, and we'll get to march and walk. And... Awesome! Uh, ho- homecoming. Yeah, the, 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 the football game Friday I night. I really then, like then football. Well, we don't have to watch the football game, but we can. I mean, if, if, if you want. But then there's the dance Saturday night, and everyone's going to be at the dance, and it'll be fun. And Oh, dance! Uh, oh, dance with... Oh, yeah. Um... I'd like to go to the dance with you. <laughs> you mean it? Yes. That that, that that's great. I, 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 he he is crimson red, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gianna looks oddly proud, like she's actually just made like some sort of an unexpected decision. <laughs> Like, he is, like, normally he likes to talk, and uh, he is stuttering, he is crimson. Uh, wait. Do you, like, how do we get there? Oh, it just, it's, it's, it has, it's at school, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's in the gym that they've been, they've been setting up for a week. That, that That's why we've been kind of shifting and doing the different weird things in gym class. Right, uh, right, that's right. Um, yeah, we should go to that. that, that that's great. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't wait. Yeah, it'll be great. Um, I don't know if Drake has any. Well, but he you, can come with us too, right? I mean, yeah. Wouldn't want him to, to, to be alone. Yeah, I wouldn't want him to. We can ask Alex too. We can all go together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as a team. And his friends. I'm going to have Hunter roll to take a power blow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
He is marking angry and insecure. <laughs> you monster! <laughs> Teenagers! Con! Right. <laughs> so, by the way, Drake, you just got invited to go to the homecoming dance and compete. The shattered Hunter's world because Gigi was being that guy, that friend and wanted to make sure no one was left alone and Hunter was all excited for a minute. <laughs> <sighs> so we're going to turn the page. Uh, we're going to turn the page to after school. And it is uh, the school psychologist's office. <laughs> and it oh. is Dr. Thatcher. Thatcher? Yes. Okay. Dr. <laughs> no one's going to recognize this with him. This is Dr. Agnes Thatcher. Okay. She is an old woman, an older woman. If you've ever seen NCIS Los Angeles, she is 100% Linda Hunt, who is Hetty from NCIS LA. Picture the human version of Edna Mode from Incredibles. You've never seen The Incredibles. No capes. You've seen Edna. I no may, capes! I may have, but I don't know who that is, so... The, the seamstress from The Incredibles. No capes! No, Picture I've, would never Nora, watched. give us. I've, I've quite literally never watched that movie. Or anything that has to do with that movie. It's mostly just never found interest. Yeah, I actually have never seen that character. Like, straight up, that's the first time I've seen that. I'm a very deprived child. Yes, you are. We need to fix this. You can now watch movies through Amazon on Twitch and stuff. Yes. Yes, go ahead and go ahead and just uh, Google... Probably watch that one, because, uh... Well, there's Disney thing. Plus. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead and Google... Talking about... Or Hetty from NCIS LA. That's what Dr. Dr. Thatcher looks like. Um, this is your first time in Dr. And uh, in addition to, it's a very interesting office. It's very down to earth. Very uh, lots of you know, somewhat homeopathic looking remedy. Lots of different blends of tea and herbs. But the most, uh, the most striking thing, is the very large cage taking up one side of the room. Uh, it is a very large cage because there is uh, an animal in there that actually does have free reign of of this room. Hmm. This is Hopskip, the emotional support rabbit. Aww. So you have options here. Okay. You can choose to just only talk with Dr. Thatcher, or you can choose to interact with Hopskip. Or you can interact with Hopskip. Okay. Alrighty, first things first. So, if you choose to interact with Hopskip, describe Wait, your Hold on, whoa, 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 hold on a second. And you had condition. this planned? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunny rabbit, we know you. <laughs> when you visit Dr. Thatcher and her emotional support rabbit, Hopskip. First, if you choose to interact with Hopskip, describe your interaction in clear condition. <laughs> so... <laughs> There is a bucket full of carrots, if you would like to feed the rabbit. Oh, that, and it's definitely scratching behind the rabbit's ears and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. So I get to clear in condition from that, you, you said? You do. Yay, so that... You, you do. <laughs> I don't feel because guilty anymore. How can you feel guilty when you're playing... Exactly! Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Second of all, roll plus Monday. Oh, sure. That's a good one. Okay, second roll plus one name. On a 10 plus, choose two. You spend the session reflecting on who you are and who you want to be. Shift one label up, one label down. You talk through your current stressors and gain insight on your problems. Ask the GM one question and take plus one forward when acting on the answers. You confront something difficult and work through it with Kath or sorry, with Dr. Thatcher, excuse me, <laughs> and clear a condition. I see. Cool. So I get to pick one of those? You get to pick two of those. Oh, nice. Alright, so... 
Um, and for the record, here it is. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so for I'm... the record, two of these moves that we have wrote that I have d- debuted here tonight were not the two I was expecting. Fair. So <laughs> I was not expecting hop skip. All right, so I'm definitely going to spend this session reflecting on who I am and what I want to be, and shift one label up and one label down. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to shift my savior up and my superior down. Okay. Kind of undo the thing I did earlier. That seems fair. And then I'm going to talk to my current stressors and gain insight on my problems. All right, ask me a question. What's the best source to find somebody who can help G G with her curse? Okay, so she looks at you. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> now, Doc. I don't know necessarily anyone who could necessarily deal with a curse, per se. But let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Do you believe everything you've been told? To some extent, yes. Maybe not everything. Or do you think that maybe... Whoever this caster is might be trying to get you to a point where he's the only voice you hear. I think it's a mixture of both. I think he isn't lying to me per se, but I think he's also trying to manipulate me. Probably is, darling. Now... Like I said, I don't necessarily know anyone who works in that realm. Maybe what this caster claims can be solved with magic can also be solved with technology. Medical breakthroughs are fascinating and amazing. I guess you're right. Thank you. Doc, is it doctor? Dr. Thatcher, yes. Dr. Thatcher. Thank you, Dr. Thatcher. That's a great idea. I know exactly where to go. I'm glad we could help. Please check in with me in about a week to let me know how things are going. This is all confidential, right? Dr. Patient Confidentiality. Perfect. The only other person who knows what was said in this room is Hopskip. And he's, he's a- not talking. He goes back over and scratches by the ear. He's so cute, too. You, you get the bunny foot thump. Gosh, I love rabbits. All right, anyway. Also, uh, 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 G- GM speaking out of character for a minute. I now need to find a way to get G- I need a scene with Skip and the Chibi Cabra. <laughs> I think it's bladed hands. I'd be careful. <laughs> so the Hop Skip gets a haircut. Oh no, that's awful. Yeah. Yes, it was a double on time. Ah. <laughs> right. so, okay. Right. Sorry. Back on track. Get so Alex is going to get out of there and then go to the school library to finish the assignment. He said he was going to for, Dr. for Mr. Thompson before he leaves. Alrighty, well, you have one more custom move to roll. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and modify the uh, one here. The which one? The test uh, one, I guess. It? With the one you are under stress to make up a test. Okay. Do I not have it? Do I not have it listed here? It should be. He's taking a test. No, 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 taking a test. Te- te- no, test time is the group test. Oh! I don't have under stress labeled here, so I'll just add quickly. Uh, when you are under stress to make up a test, roll plus mundane. Oh, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, I will go ahead and copy and paste this into the custom moves thing for you so we can see it. Uh, uh, let's see. Under stress to make up a test. Or an essay. Alrighty. So, you get to choose two! Okay, I don't see the... It's right there. there it is. Uh, you not only get every question right, or... You, you nail all of the points in the rubric, and you nail the bonus 
the end. So you get plus one forward as your confidence in race. Uh, your essay is passed enough for Florida that your teacher is impressed with what you have learned to take influence over them. And you go above and beyond with your essay or answers, and it shows. You can mark potential to take on a student to tutor or shift your superior up and any other label of your choice down. What's the f- If I take the plus one forward, what's that apply to? Uh, plus one forward, um, in, th- in this case, this is a generic plus one forward. Uh, so it's going to be a plus one forward on your next roll. The plus one forward you got from the session with Dr. Thatcher is specifically when dealing with uh, finding the technological means to help Gianna. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to take, I'm going to get through that, and then I'm going to have, uh, take Mr. or influence over yeah. Mr. Thompson. All right. Go ahead and mark that. Have done so. Wow. There have been a flurry of custom moves here. I think the best one was your reaction. Wait, you have a custom move for the therapy? <laughs> wait, 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 what? You had that just ready to go, okay. I've, I've had that ready to go since issue four. Fair. <laughs> you need to give me more credit, sir. <laughs> that was the one saying, oh my gosh, you just made that up right now. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've only made one of these moves up on the fly during session. Okay. And that was fighting your nightmare. Nice. Yeah. That was the one I made up in session. Cool. Also, for those of you who are watching at home, the reason my stare just suddenly switched and going that way is because Nora posted a gift twerking rabbit. Funny. Yes. Okay. So, Gianna and Drake. I believe you said you were bringing the chibicabra to me. Well, I mean, if yeah, if, uh, if Drake agreed to it, then yeah. Yeah, let's let's take the chibi to the goose and see what the goose does. Hopefully, it won't eat it. Uh, I think that would be a very bad idea. For the goose or the chibicabra? For the goose, Chibi's got knives on his hands. That would really hurt his. <laughs> he's standing with hands on his hips like he's Superman. Have you ever seen a goose, chibicabra? All right. He has met a goose before. He's familiar. <laughs> All right, this way. So we enter the giant. We we enter Drake's closet, which is. Well, we, 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 hold on, hold on. We, we turn the comic page to the nondescript home in the nondescript neighborhood. <laughs> you come on. <laughs> now go ahead. I'm sorry, I forgot that I was going to let you have your thunder there. <laughs> nondescriptly, of course. Yep, of course. So the nondescript closet will open the door. Exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go, before you get in there, uh, your uh, mentor slash father figure slash whatever you want to call him, biker biker dude dad, Kiev is sitting there. Obviously waiting for you to get home. Gigi waves politely as she comes in behind Drake. He nods. Hello, Gianna. Drake. Mm-hmm. Why do you sound like you did something wrong? Well, every time you're waiting here for me in the door, I know I did something wrong. Really? So what did you do wrong? I don't know. Something about a cauldron of dreams falling into it. Um, actually, was... I was, actually, I was here to say I heard through the grapevine about you rescuing people from that location. Well, sort of. I was yeah, I going to say good job. He also rescued me from a haunted house attack just a little just a couple days ago, right? Okay. Well, did you now? Well, um, you are getting the hang of this trying to be a hero. Thing. Well, I mean, I did kind of cause some of the problems in there. 
Everyone got out safe and alive, and nobody got hurt. Good job. Good job, Drake. Well. And he gives you a pat on the back and walks out. That's the first time he has yelled at me. Then I'm a little concerned. He's really friendly. Sure. Uh, Let's go see the goose. Okay. You open up the door to the non Also, that sounds really just... You want to see my goose? You you open up the door to the nondescript bedroom. And staring there, just sitting on the bed waiting for you, is the goose. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you supposed to be in the closet? Wings crossed, looking at you. In the closet. (laughs) He sees Gianna and the Chibicabra walks up, nods at Gianna, shows a little respect. And looks Hello? back at, at Drake. The goose waves. Looks back at Drake. Honk, 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 honk. What's he saying? I don't know. You don't know, but you can pretty sure he pissed. I'm, I'm going. Uh, uh, I need a snack. I'm going in the closet. Are you coming? Honk, honk. Well, let's go. The goose walks in first. And Gianna's got a trail behind here. So, um, uh, Drake, why don't you go ahead and describe to for Gianna what she sees when she enters the realm of her sanctuary. So you see this more or less mine shaft looking area. Um, a cleared out mine with um, emerald remains of dragons. All over the place. So that's what you see. You are surrounded by a lot of these emerald jewel dragons. And off in the corner, you see what appears to be an. Sorry, you didn't. Oh. I didn't. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. So you see all these emerald dragon reliefs, corpses, whatever you want to call them. And off in the corner, you see what appears to be uh, off in opposite corners. There's two alcoves. There is one clearly where Drake has been because there are food wrappers everywhere. And there is one that you can pretty much tell has been taken over by a goose. By the ridiculous amount of feathers on the floor. Mm hmm. Oh, it's like a little nest. Yeah, he's he's a thing. He can at least talk in here, so maybe he'll tell me why he's mad. <clears throat> Hunk. You're right, I will tell you why I am mad. I don't Wait, care what us. I don't care what that fool downstairs says. You messed up and you messed up big time. What did I do th- what how? Oh, really? How about the two puncture holes in your friend's neck? We'll start there. Oh, Um, it doesn't hurt that bad. Oh, it's not going to hurt that bad right now. Just wait. You don't even know what those were, do you? No, not really. You're supposed to be the one to save everybody. Maybe I should just do it myself. Where's my hammer? Hammer? How do you hold Oh. Did you grab your hammer? (laughs) I didn't grab my hammer, but apparently Discord decided to go hammer time on us. The goose looks around. Fine. He he waddles over and just picks up a baseball bat in his beak. That's a that's a bat. Hey, hey. Put the put put the bat. Put the bat. Put 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 the bat down. Wait. He I thought he was your friend, Drake. He just starts menacingly walking towards you with the bat. You know, Gigi dragons... actually starts stands next to Drake, kind of protect him. Um, you're, you're you're. Can can you do something about this chibi cobra? Puts the bat down. 
What the heck's a chibi-cabra? Oh, um, <laughs> he's my friend up here. Um, he recently came back with me after our, uh, our adventure into a, a dreamscape. And... The goose yeah. looks up at the chibi-cabra, and the chibi-cabra turns I see. Oh. Okay. So your friend you agrees with me. Understand it? Of course I can understand it. You can't? Mm, I don't speak chibi-cabra. That's how I was Probably Shit. good because um, oh, you didn't you didn't understand it either this time, Gianna. Oh, geez, okay, he was out of my yeah. Like it's probably a good thing you didn't understand it because some of the things he called you, I don't even want to repeat. Ooh, Jimmy, we talked about your language. Oh no, his language was fine. He used very creative ways of saying it. I'm saying I don't want to repeat it because that would mean I have to talk about him some more. You know, there are places that find goose a delicacy, right? Yes, there are also places that find dragon a delicacy. Uh, I and I can get more for you than you can get for me. I thought you guys were friends. No, 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 no. We're not friends. He, supposedly, is the one who's going to bring all of this back to prominence, and I'm supposed to be the one that guides him there. Guess what? This is a fruitless task. I will agree, he did get the short end of the straw. This is the most useless thing I have seen. Ever. No, don't say that. Drake's a really great person. And I lived through the Britney Spears days. Leave Britney alone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no. The, the ones where she went crazy. I mean, did you see what happens when she shaved her head? We just get a flashback comic panel to the goose sitting in the sanctuary, watching just like all of the horrible gossip mag shows. What's Britney got to do with this? I mean, come on. I'm saying, you are more useless than when she went through her breakdown. So what you need to do is you need to figure out how to wield what you have. Because if you are supposed to be the savior to all of this, we're screwed. Hey, hey, hey. We haven't lost a battle. Well, there was that one. One? I think at least two. There was the one in, in, in that crazy lady's pool, and then there was the one at the at the circus. Do I need to keep going? No, we won at the circus. We stopped the bomb. You stopped the bomb. That's correct. You did win. He did not. He got his butt whipped. But we're a team, so we went together. He still got his butt whipped. Are you done? <laughs> How many more times are you going to mess up? Oh, at least once a today. At least one. Then no, I'm not done. I won't be done until you figure out what you're doing and how you can save all of this. Jack pulls a paperclip. Or not a paperclip, but a uh, clothespin and puts it on the, duck, on the goose's feet. Drake, should we go? I don't think this is... This isn't helping now. The, the goose starts, like, digging one of its feet into the ground like it's getting ready to charge. Oh, fine. Takes the clip off. Now, you insult yeah. the brat! Can you help us or not? What do you need to know? Can we tame this thing? I... He's tame. If he wasn't tame, he'd have already torn you to shreds. It's not about being tame, it's just... It's kind of hard to teach him some manners. Well, he, he walks over, looks, the, looks at it, licks the chibi cabra, goes back, well, maybe if you'd stop giving him sugar, it might help. I don't want to give him goats. Got a goose, you could feed him. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. You don't have to feed him goat. The name Chupacabra means goat sucker. It doesn't mean you have to feed him a goat. What would, what would you suggest? Chicken. I guess that makes more sense. Also, so I mean, wait, wait, alligator wait. works too. Hmm, alligator's delicious. You say alligator? 
I don't think we have any fat. But uh, uh, you, you said something uh, else. The bites, they're going to do something? What? Later? Oh, yeah. Haven't you seen any horror movie ever? I lived on the streets until a month ago. Am I going to turn into a vampire bat? I mean, you'd probably make the most adorable vampire bat ever. Thank you. <laughs> but, I mean, if it doesn't, if you don't find a way to cure it, probably. So, um, uh, what, how do we cure it then? I have no idea. Do I look like a doctor to you? Well, you're not a lot of help. I'm a goose. What do you want from me? Do we have any relics in here that might talk about it? I am assuming you do not have the move alien tech. No. Because we could modify it to magical tech for the sanctuary for it to work. But no, since you don't, no. Um, I mean, potentially, maybe, but... I haven't looked for any of the relics in here in years. I haven't eaten any of them. Well, Drake, maybe we can ask Alex to see if he can, like, find something on the internet. That's not a bad idea. And plus it gets me away from this place where half the house hates me all the time. No, no, no. Half the house doesn't hate you. Okay? If the house hated you, you wouldn't be living here. The house is trying to make sure you're ready to save everyone. Alrighty then. I'm just gonna take this croissant. You, you want anything? You, anything? Uh, you take my bread. I will bonk you. Wait, did, I have a, did you have a chance to go home before we went? I leave the croissant. Yeah, you said you wanted to bring bread, so if you she stop, did, I will leave okay, that to you. If you did. Yeah. He's being kind of mean though, so no bread. <laughs> He's being himself. Yeah, we're going to say no on that. Are we, yeah. Uh, are you all set, or is there anything else you need from me? I think good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Oh, just out. Just can, so can you stop. keep the feathers off my bed, please? The itch. Fine. As long as you start smartening up. Thank you for your help, Mr. Chris. Not a problem, my dear. Anything for someone such as you. And the goose politely bows. Which is really weird, because it's a goose. Gigi's gonna do the polite thing after, like, getting a bow, and she's gonna, like, reach into her pack and take out a piece of bread, and say, Drake's a really good person, by the way. You shouldn't be so hard on him. He comes over and gently takes the bread out, and you can only hear this in your head. I know, but if I'm not harsh, he won't learn. Oh. She nods no <laughs> She nods in agreement. Wow. So the next move Gianna's taking is cold and cruel from the star playbook. I was gonna say oh, is, dear. Is, does Drake take a powerful blow after that? Well Drake didn't hear it. Does no, it matter? It's does it matter? That's like a cosmic thing right there. Cosmic energy shift. <laughs> when he takes a powerful blow has no idea why. It's like oh, Something just oh, right in the field. Yeah, man, I feel burned right now, and I don't know why. Oh. So you guys leave the nondescript what's that, closet. What's, what's that smell there? It smells like <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Better have burn heal. <laughs> so anything else you guys are going to do? Uh, Gigi's or... at least going to pat Drake on the back after they leave, and she's going to tell him like, she's going to tell him, um, I think you're great. Yeah, I think you're going to. I think you'll you'll save the world eventually. <laughs> Is this a comfort and support? That's the intent. All right, roll the comfort and support. And Chibicabra can help because he's he. That's what he does. He's a support he, Chibicabra. He is. He is an emotional support Chibicabra. And I assume you have influence as well. I don't. I never had influence over Drake. He never gave it to me. He did when you. No, no. You you relinquished it for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I lost it. Yeah, you yeah no, you gave, you gave it up at the end of the last session is what it was. Yeah, you burned oh, yeah, it or that. something. Yeah. 
So, but you get you do get to roll uh, mundane plus one with the chibicabra. Okay, doke. And actually, not too bad right now. There she, there she is. Please be good. Nope. Womp womp. Oh dear. Okay, mark potential. So, mark potential. So oh, great. Sweet. You just heard her say, "I'm sure you'll save the world." Someday, and it comes There's across that powerful blow. It comes across <laughs> a little hollow. So, please go ahead and take a powerful blow as her attempt to comfort you sounds all horribly wrong, and it sounds like she's talking like she's the goose. I'm sure. Hey. You, I'm sure you'll save the world at some point. Yes. So eventually, you gotta um, stop making mistakes. So you get to mark potential. And explain to me how that doesn't bother you. Must mean it has something to do with she's thirteen. <laughs> I, I mean, one, she's thirteen, and two, Drake's heard enough of the goose telling him that he's horrible and never going to save the world. That it just kind of was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so the next question is: Are you joining Hunter for the homecoming parade? Is that tonight? Yes. Well, he's happening once. Here's the thing, though. Um, around that time, oh, Gigi's good. gonna get a text message from Alex. Alrighty, what does it say? Meet me at Stormbreaker Technologies. Okay, she's gotta respond back. Okay, just got done talking to Goose. We'll be there. Your response is three dots, and then. Goose with a question mark. And then she's gonna respond, Goose, smiley face. <laughs> so he's gonna text Drake now, and be like, "Why is she talk? Why is Gianna talking about meeting, talking with a goose?" Can I interject for one second sure. here? Uh -huh. Um, unbeknownst to you, Drake, the goose has. Uh, you're not sure how this has happened, but your text tone has been changed. So you get a text message, and it's the goose honking gourmet race when you get a text. Let's get your ringtone is honkalomania. <laughs> so yes, you hear this honking, like the, the goose honking the sound, the, the sound of gourmet race from from Kirby. Awesome track. Yes, but that's what you hear when Drake gets the text. Oh, that sounds so awesome, a goose! <laughs> I can picture it! Oh, it already there sounds it like a goose! No, we have it! Oh, it exists! It exists. Oh, dear! <laughs> I will listen to this link. We will put the link in the description. <laughs> so, Drake text back. Yeah, um, so I have a goose that's a mentor. It's a thing. It's 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 a dragon thing. Ge geese are sacred to dragons. They have big wings. It's a, it's a thing. <laughs> the next text you get back is three dots and what clearly looks like was going to be something longer than okay whatever, but then it just is like okay comma W. It just sends it. W T F. W. No, not even that. It's just like W, and then it just sends. It's just like you know what? I give up. <laughs> he then um, texts you like whatever. <laughs> no, he then texts you. Meet me at Storm or bring Gianna to Stormbreaker Technologies. We're never gonna get to the actual plot. I, I have don't planned for actually this. think and this is so much better. I was, this is the plot. I was gonna say I don't think we're going to homecoming, bro. <laughs> no. That's okay. This is so much better. Right. Uh, so, so Alex wants us to go to Stormbreaker for some reason. Um, yeah, I just got text from. And also, also he seems very confused about the goose. I don't know why he doesn't get a goose. Like it's a thing. They're awesome. It's it's okay. Mm. I'm sure it's just. He's confused. I mean, I was confused when the goose showed up, too. Yeah. By the way, you hear, bah, bah, and you look up, and you're not entirely sure how this happened, but the chibicabra now is dressed like a goose. Michigan. Ah, the 
this terrible feeling I've released a terrible evil onto the world. Kirk, I'm Kirk! The Goosecabra? The yes. Goosecabra. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The best part about this is, is now we all know Cham. Give it about two days, we will have the Goose of oh, We will. Yeah. Two days. You are overestimating, sir. <laughs> I don't know his work schedule tomorrow. Uh, no, right. dude. Forget that. I'm expecting it the moment we finish this. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure, dude. You you literally just spawn things out like randomly. Like, oh, I drew this like five minutes while we were like in the middle of the session. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, we're done. We jumped the shark. We got nothing left. We gotta go to the, the, Like, yeah. We, I think we picked we the wrong world. title for tonight. <laughs> uh, yep, we may have to change that. Oh, it's too late. Title cards uh, up. It happened already. We'll fix it. So it's part one then. <laughs> right? Yeah. I was gonna right. say we, we can always do homecoming tomorrow. Uh, we can. <laughs> so. We... Uh, Alex, you were the first one to arrive because obviously you were planning on going there. Right. And uh, it's a lot easier to get to Stormbreaker Tech from the school than it is from the nondescript town and the nondescript section of town. And, uh, yeah. They can fly. Oh, yeah, we do, Mr. Moth. It's new fangs. It's not creepy at all. <laughs> you shouldn't give me things I can make sound effects. Anyway, so we will say you all arrive at the same time, so you are all at the foot of the building. Okay. So Alex is kind of impatiently waiting, like, for, like, even just a small amount of time it takes for us to all get there at the same time. But he sees, he's like, good, I'm glad you guys are here. Um, Gianna, yeah, problem. I'm going to turn into a vampire bat. So Alex just kind of blankly stares at her like, yeah, that's the no, problem. Have... Oh, okay. So we don't have two problems. We just have one. Good. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Wait, I'm still going to. Oh, no. So. Um, first thought is technology. Medical technology. And who better to come see for medical technology than Dr. Thomas Casey himself? So let's go talk to him and see if we can't figure out any way to stop what's happening to you through non-magical means. Okay, that probably would be best. Because after that, then we have to find, for lack of a better term, an exorcist, but let's not worry about that part. That does never... So... Uh, we all head up to the Stormbreaker loft area. All right. You, uh, there is none of the next gen team in there mm -hmm. when you arrive, which is weird, right? Because usually there's at least one of them, right? Oh, it's six hours. That's interesting. Uh, Maybe they're all busy. Yeah, probably. So. So he looks Is at, Dr. Casey here? I don't know. So he goes over to one of the computer terminals and tries to see if he can locate Dr. Casey. I mean, I'm not going to make you roll for that because this is kind of your base. Right. Um, he appears to be in his office. Oh, sweet. So Alex is going to head up towards his office and give a polite knock on the door. And we're going to follow, obviously. Yeah. And for regular readers of the Bay City Chronicles series, Bay City Comics, uh, you definitely recognize the office. It's the same version of Dr. Casey's office we've seen in both the primary timeline on Bay City Chronicles and the uh, alternate timeline, which is kind of where we are here, alternate universe. Uh, so this is the muted color Dr. Casey, one of the fun uh, right. outfits. <clears throat> you just hear... Dr. Casey. Hi. Alex, Stanton, Gianna, and Drake. How's it going? He does not look up from the computer. He continues typing. We need what your... can I help you kids with? Um, really need your help, actually. Uh, Gianna's got these two bite marks on her neck, and we're kind of worried they're infected. 
And considering you've got the best medical technology in the entire city, if not the entire state, um, we thought we might come here. Stop. And... Stop. Entire country. Even better. I've actually never been outside the state much, so I wouldn't know. Um, so, yeah. Because um, we think it's more than just like a, a bug bite. In fact, it he may looks, be turning her into a vampy thing. A vampy. Yeah. I'm sorry. What the holy hell is a vampy? It's sort of a giant, uh, like, five foot tall bat zombie fangs with kind of clawed hands and, and stuff. So you got bitten by something a scared child would draw. Oh, you've seen my... I mean, uh... Yes. But it was a real thing. And, uh, Drake was there to, to see it. Yeah, it, it was a real thing. It's kind of a horrifying nightmare, but... Hmm. So you want me to try and figure out what's going on and see if I can fix it? <clears throat> yes, please. The goose said I might turn into some sort of a zombie monster. I don't really want that. Uh, hold on, hold on. Goose? We live really strange lives right now. Hold on. You do understand that I, directly through you and indirectly through the minds of the city financially support the next generation of heroes in this city. You three, in addition to to Sirocco, and my son, and Declan, and this is the first time I've ever heard mention of somebody speaking foul. We're back. Back. Let's bring it back. Okay, so Discord decided it wanted to Discord us again. Hi there. It sounds normal now. Yeah, it okay. seems alright. So, what part of that did you hear me say? Um, Absolutely nothing. Yeah. That's something about like uh, something about a talking foul. Okay, yeah, no, that was the last part is okay. I you know, I financially, you know, privately to you and indirectly to the city, I financially back the next generation of superheroes. That'd be you three, my son, Sirocco, and Declan. And this is the first time I've ever heard of anybody talking foul. I didn't get to meet this talking bird. Um Does he say that with a straight face? Yes. Even though he did just meet a talking bird. Well, no, this talking bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I met a different it's one. It's kind of a dragon thing. I met a talking crow. It's not that hard to believe. I mean... Wait, you, you, so, you met so a talking crow? At that Alex stares at her like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I sleep next to a Sasquatch and a Loch Ness monster in my bathtub. It's not that hard to believe. Fair. So, he just looks okay. <laughs> so, I suppose pose i can try and figure out what's going on um he looks at gianna what's your thoughts on needles they kind of hurt um but i'm mostly okay as long as i don't get it okay good he walks over to alex leans down i don't care how you do it i need you to distract her for about two minutes okay I'll be right back. Right. He walks out. So, Gianna, 
Um, what? Tell me more about this um, adventure you guys went on in around Halloween time. Like, um, has your father noticed anything about those marks, or has he just not been around all that much? Uh, he's been really busy with work. Uh, so I haven't really seen him a whole lot, but I'm also kind of trying to hide it. I've been wearing a lot of turtlenecks. Oh. Have you noticed any other effects? Well, I actually have been having these kind of weird mood swings. Like, I sometimes feel... It's really hard to describe. Uh, it's, a. Uh, it's that... I feel kind of confident sometimes. Like, more than I... More than I think I should. Sorry I wasn't with you guys. I no, was, it's okay. You had things to do. I was involved in something and I turned my phone off. But um, You did miss trick or treating. Yeah, I'm not hugely into that, honestly speaking. There's candy. Yeah, I know. Still. Did we actually end up with any candy, or we ended up with... You have to end up with a decent haul. And as Drake mentions, there will be candy. Gianna, you feel a prick on your arm. Ow! And as you turn and look, there's Dr. Casey standing with a syringe full of blood. Thank you. Welcome, Hess. And he walks off. He, he goes... Again, this and a little Easter egg to avid readers of Bay City Comics. He goes to the back corner of the room, hand wall disappears, walks into another lab that you guys are all like, "What the heck?" And the wall just shuts behind him. Okay. I guess we. Don't... Alex kind of starts. And after that's done, he kind of stops. Wait a talking. second, Alex. What? Did you were talking to a crow? Yeah. When? A little while ago. Remember when we were in the dreamscape together? Yeah. Big crow. Okay. You made it sound like it was really recent, so I... I wasn't sure. Nope. I... Nope, just, I mean, we met a gigantically large crow. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, I invited you to a home... Oh, yeah, that's right. Can I actually use Pierce the Mask on? You certainly can. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't use it against the uh, kid with the black hair, OPT. Yeah, I, I, I actually didn't think... Yeah, I didn't even think about it then. I forget we have these abilities, honestly. Right. Yep, you have basic moves. Okay, so I will pierce the, pierce the mask on oh, Alex Stanton. If you have, um, is this something that Chibi Cobra helps you with? Um, he has it for cover and support, unleash, and uh, not pierce the mask. It's for observation. So okay, so a sense. All right. Um, so do you have influence over Alec? Yes. All right, so you get to add plus one to this anyway. And mundane for Nova. Yay! So she. Oh wait, potential. Sweet. Yes, it is potential. Your mundane's minus two. My mundane's actually zero. No. Oh. Okay. You're showing your minus mundane is, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have uh, you have a condition marked. Right, I do. I am conditioned up. Right. Okay, that's what it is. You've got angry marked. That makes more sense. It does actually. Matter. Okay. <laughs> So, she asks you this, and you look, she's looking at, at you. And, just that, and then you hear in your head, you do realize that if you tell her, she's just going to think you're crazy, right? He gives kind of one of the, like, the scratch of the back of the head, doesn't really respond, like, verbally. But he, I don't know, kind of like nods, like gently, saying, look at you, I was like, yeah, no, it was just a little bit ago. Yeah, when we did that dreamscape thing. Yeah. 
Oh, Fee, I invited you to homecoming. I hope you don't mind. Invited me to what? Homecoming! We're going with Hunter and Drake and me, and it'll be a great time. The, so, at this point, you hear, you have fun with that. I'm not big for dancing. So, Alex here looks at you and says, So, did you think of this, or did somebody ask you? Uh, Hunter asked me if I wanted to go. I see. And you decided to invite all of us to go with you and Hunter to homecoming. You remember that thing I said where I was feeling weirdly confident every once in a while? No, no, no. I get that. Do you understand what you just did to him? Well, yeah, we're all going together, so we have some company. He wanted to go out with you, Gianna. Well, we're still going out. Oh. <laughs> uh, but we're still going out. It'll still be a fun time. I'm sure it will. Guessing I didn't you... mean it like that. Yeah. You didn't, but that's what happened. Probably. I feel awful. It's okay. And uh, I don't feel awful about asking you to take a powerful blow right now, because that's what feels like just happened. Oh, did you Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wow. Please. Oh, Rip. I have a feeling. I, I have a feeling we're about to blow up his lap. Okay, thank God. <laughs> it's still bad. Well, it's bad, but it's not lose yourself. It's bad, but it's not lose control of yourself and your powers in a terrible way. You get to lash out verbally, provoking a teammate to foolhardy action, or taking advantage of your influence to inflict a condition. Giving ground, your opposition gets an opportunity. <laughs> I'll have fun with that one. Or you can struggle past the pain and mark two conditions. Noting that you already have four conditions marked, so if you choose that option, you will have to either pass out or flee from the situation. This is a bad place. To... Actually, this is the perfect place to pass out. But still. Uh... Actually, I think we'll be fitting here, especially since John is feeling a little bit put upon, and she's angry. <laughs> She's gonna lash out at Alex. Okay. And she's going to go, um... Fine! I... I... You don't have anybody you want to go with. I just... Thought I'd be doing you a favor. Ooh. That's not a provoke. That is a... Getting rid of your influence to inflict a condition. Mm -hmm. So, erase your influence on Alex, and which condition do you wish to inflict upon him? <laughs> I mean, I know the correct answer here. Insecure would be the right one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> totally would be. Uh, <laughs> I can tell like, that the player, Chami, is hating this. I love this. <laughs> I do too. This is, the, this is the best drama you guys have gotten into. <laughs> okay. So yeah, inflicting insecure onto Alex. I thought it was be guilty, but insecure works too. Guilty was yeah, they both work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that just happened, Alex. He's just gonna like fold his arms, get look away. So Drake, you just watch those two get into an argument. What do you do? Sit down and have a drink and watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I mean. Drake just wanders in from the kitchen with a drink and some popcorn. So, I actually have an important question here. I technically hurt somebody important. You, Do I clear angry for that? Um, at, you would clear that at the end of the scene. Okay. I would 100% say that would qualify as clearing angry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Only took me nine issues to get you guys to do interparty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Drake's just watching us squabble. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you did invite me to go with you and crush Hunter. So yeah, this is fun. I'm enjoying it. We just get a comic panel just. Comic panel cut to to, to, to Ven and Hunter's house where he's just got this distraught look on his face and the reason we don't see Ven here is simply because he's trying to console his brother. What the hell? <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. 
Hunter needs to take a powerful blow if he didn't. He, he uh, did. He did earlier. He totally did. Yeah, he did. He, he, he marked guilty and angry. Or insecure and angry. <laughs> he, is not a ha he is not a happy camper. So that just happened. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Indeed. Oh, I figured we're, we're just going to wait for... Uh... You hear... Um, you do realize I can't process things like this that quickly. It's gonna be a while. The final when should while. we come back? I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. Good point. Okay. I guess we're done then. Uh, just call us or text us when you're done, Dr. Casey. Please. As soon as I know something, I will make sure to let you know. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Casey. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for the food, too. How did you get into the fridge? I passcoded it. Oh, sorry about that. Damn it, Alex. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize, <laughs> didn't realize he was going to open it and get into it. My what did you think he was going to do? I thought he was going to get some ice for water. The freezer passcode is different than the fridge passcode. Yeah, I know. I didn't know which one, so I just got them both. <sighs> Goodbye, children. Bye. Bye, Thank Mr. Casey. Much. Drake, I can't... What's wrong with you, Drake? I can't take you anywhere. Jeez. <laughs> um, so, as we walk out, um, Alex, all right, guys, well, when we hear something, we'll, we'll be in touch. Try to take care of yourself. Yeah. Have fun at home, coming. Yeah. You're not coming with us? I'll probably show up at some point because I have a feeling mom's going to want me to be there for reasons I'm not sure of yet. But, uh, so I will probably meet you there. So you don't know how right you are, Alex. Because <laughs> when you get home, your mother is waiting for you. <clears throat> so! Hi, Ma. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> so, uh, I got a call from your English teacher today. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I stayed after and I made it up. I know. But he called and asked me if I could ask you to do something for him. Alright, what do I do now? You didn't do anything. He just, you know, he, he would like your assistance making sure homecoming goes off. Ahead. So, of course, I told him you'd be there. Of course you did, Because yes. you're going to be there, yeah. right? Guess I was already invited technically anyway. Good. Because if you said you weren't going, I was going to make do something even worse. You were going to go and I was going to chaperone. <laughs> I think the teenage years have left you behind, Mom. <laughs> All right. Wouldn't have got you to go? No. Maybe. Probably. All right. I got to change into something less straight. It's tomorrow night. You're fine. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting my days all screwed up. It's, I've had it's been a day. It's been a very long day. Yeah, you 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 you've been off the past week or so. Is everything okay? No, mom. It's actually not. But I'm dealing with it. It'll be. Fun. No, 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 no. You can't just say it's not and tell me you're dealing with, it and then not explain to your mother what's going on. So sit down, young man, and tell me what's happening. This a friend of mine is very sick. And, um, Very sick, and this is the first I'm hearing about it. Well, let me like, refer. How sick are we talking? Well, she's got an infection. So I guess it's just, she's not like sick, like ill, but she's. Um, is this this is this that adorable little girl with the poof that we met at the carnival? What was her name? Gianna. Yeah, she's got an, an infection, and it's starting to affect affect her, and it's kind of scary. And we've been trying to. See what we can do to help out as far as finding what's up with her. Yeah, you're not contagious, are you? No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. Okay, good. Well, if there's anything that we can do to help her out, you let me know. I mean, I, I can make some shepherd's pie or some lasagna if we need to send it over to her. No, but I know exactly one person who would love your shepherd's pie, Mom. And who is that? My other friend, Drake. Well, you should invite him over for dinner one time. I will... Absolutely do that. 
I can't wait. We met him, right? He was also at the fair, right? He's yes. the kid with the green hair. That's it. Why yeah. would somebody have green hair? I don't get that. You know, it's a long story that I've been told. I'm not entirely certain of all of it. But he's got green hair and it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, it's probably some weird genetic thing that I don't understand. Or that. Yes. Um, yeah, you, you invite him over sometimes. Invite all your friends over sometimes. I will... You, you, I, I want to see you. I want to see you happy. And you, every time I see you, you look like the weight of the world's on your shoulder. I know. Look, I just. I know things have been difficult recently. Just don't stress yourself too hard. Well, it's. My fault anyway, but no, it's fine. Um, what, 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 what do you mean it's your fault? I wasn't there for her, and she got... Oh, Alex. Yeah. What? Alex. How can you be there to prevent someone from getting an infection? Are you an infectious disease doctor all of a sudden that I didn't know about? No, but if, since I wasn't okay, there, then. she got... Okay, so bit. how is it your fault? Because I could have prevented her from getting bit by the... Bit by what? How could you prevent her from getting bit? What, the mosquito land on her neck or something? Uh, it was a little bigger than that. Th then what was it, and how could you have prevented it? Well, if I was there, I may have been able to see it happen without And her. what would you have done? Hit it with a keyboard, my computer warrior? Yes. I do carry a backpack you, you, around. <laughs> yeah, you don't carry a keyboard with you, so how would you prevent it? And first of all, what would you have been doing that would have caused something to bite her? Well, I wasn't with her, so I'm not entirely certain. They did text me, and they wanted me to come with them, but then she got... Okay, so where would you guys have been going that would have caused someone to bite her? Oh, I actually don't know where they went. You to. know you can tell me anything, right? Yeah, I do at all. I'm serious. I actually don't... And how would you have stopped whatever it was from biting her? Well, I think I might have seen the bat come and bite her in the, in the neck. Oh, it was a bat now. You said you didn't know what it was, and now you know it's a bat. Well, I don't think it's just a bat is the problem. Well, then what is it? I don't know. That's the problem. Okay, I don't so know. you keep telling me you don't know, but yeah. you keep saying you could have prevented it. How could you have stopped it? If I was just there, I feel like I could have stopped it. I know I could Alex, you can barely run a half a mile. How could you have stopped something from biting her? Because I actually can run over half a mile, Mom. And, and when did this start happening? Kind of around after the time Dad passed away. I've been... I go work out a lot. And I'm suddenly finding myself to be a lot better at things. kind of happened out of nowhere, actually. You're not doing anything that's going to get yourself hurt, right? I like to think that I'm not. So if you like to think you're not, what are you doing then? Getting myself in shape. <clears throat> Getting myself ready in case something ever happens to one of my friends. And you think that just going to the gym is going to help you with that? Has so far. You, you, you can learn to run, you, you can lift weights, but what really, what's going to happen when, when you sit there? And, and and some you know you're walking home from school and some you know, she'll swear she some asshole with a gun just tries he wants to rob you and your friends what are you gonna do you know that gym worker ain't gonna do crap for you don't think just because you're going to the gym that you can suddenly take on the world yeah I know. And I'm working on it. Is there something you're not telling me? Yeah. 
Yeah, there is. What are you? <laughs> this is hard to do with her behind me. <clears throat> yes, there is. How do you think I feel? I have to do the voice. I know. <laughs> you know how hard it is to sound comforting and supporting while doing that voice? I know. <laughs> okay. Then what aren't you telling me? I've been off ever since Dad passed away. And I've... We all have. And I've been... It's just that, you know, I've, I've just, I finally made some friends, and I'm worried, I'm happy for you. and I'm worried that something's going to happen to them. I saw the school psychologist today. So that's what you were telling me, that you went and visited Dr. Thatcher. Yeah. Yeah, that that's exactly what I wasn't telling you. Why didn't you want to tell me? I don't want to worry you. I don't know. I feel kind of embarrassed. I had to go see her. Did it help? A little bit. Kind of left me with more questions, but... Then you go see her again. Yeah, we have a session scheduled next week. Good. Then there's nothing to worry about. It's not going to happen all at once. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just know that whatever's bothering you, you don't have to keep it from me. You can tell me anything. I know, Ma. Thanks. And we're going to turn the page. Gianna, what happens when you get home? Because your dad is home. Oh, uh, when she gets home, she's actually probably just going to rush to her. Okay. And she's going to close the door. <clears throat> so he waits about 10 minutes. And then you hear a Gianna. A D existential. What? Everybody hates me. What do you mean everybody hates you? She just starts crying a bit. Is your door unlocked? Yes. I'm coming in. Okay. So he comes in, sits down next to you on your sits down next to Gianna on her bed, and just immediately just goes full on dad hug. Well, she's not really like hugging onto a pillow or something, but this is definitely a better thing. Yep. Why do you say everyone hates you, sweetheart? She said, um, I said. I said a really mean thing to Alex, and I didn't mean to. And I think I hurt his feelings. And I don't know why I said it. It's okay. Did he seem like he was really mad? I... I don't know. I was too mad to tell. Yeah, well, if he's really your friend, then... It's not going to matter. Friends fight. It happens. Then I made Hunter feel bad too. And how did you do that? Well, he... He wanted to go to the homecoming dance with me. And I said he, yes. He reaches and... over and hands you a tissue. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of all the things, that's the one that breaks OPT. And I said yes, and he, and 
And he so, thought, and then I, and I invited everybody else along. And he wanted to just be me and him, I think, because I think he likes me, and I think I made him feel bad. I don't Gianna. want to make him feel bad. Gianna. What? What? It's okay. And yes, I know he likes you. It's why he also asked you to the carnival. Yeah. So, here is my suggestion. Why don't you get a hold of Drake and Alec and have them meet you there? That way you can still hang out as friends, but the entire purpose of what was asked of you is still fulfilled. Hi. Hey. You think that'll work? I think... Half of the point... Half of the reason you ask someone to go to a dance with you is because you want to hang out. The other half is because you want to be seen showing up with them. Just the two of you. So if you have your friends meet you there, you still get to hang out, and no one's feelings get to be hurt. And Hunter won't hate me if... I don't think he hates you, sweetheart. Smash cut to Hunter. I hate her! No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that mean. No. <laughs> Hunter suddenly becomes the next supervillain. Right. Uh, trust me, there was a chance that could have happened in one of these issues. Ooh. <laughs> uh, she's gonna nod stimulingly. It's just, it's, okay. Yeah, I'll give that a try. Yeah. So. I just don't want to hurt friends' feelings. That didn't feel very good. It never does. But that's the thing. That's why they're friends. Is you fight, and then you make up. It's that simple. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. Now, one more question needs to be asked. Do we need to go get you a new dress for homecoming? <gasps> yes! Good. Let's go. We can get some takeout when we're out. While we're out as well. Oh, we're gonna have dinner. Together. <laughs> <laughs> and that line hit me way more than it probably should have been. Page to the nondescript house, unless Drake's going somewhere different. No, no, nondescript house sounds good. <laughs> okay. So there's nobody there when you get there. That's quiet in here. But the closet door is open. That can't be good. So Drake's gonna walk into the door. <clears throat> well, hello there. Uh -huh. Thought Don't so. Sound so disappointed. It could be worse. Yeah, you could be the chibicabra. Or I could be paired to do it. He only shows up when really bad things happen. True. So. You really want to help your friend out? Yeah. There might be a way to do it. No, I'm listening. Also, I assume I'm more or less using words of the past here, in a way. Uh, more like you are invoking the powers of your saying. Well, what are those? Alrighty, so, uh, if you are the sanctuary, uh, when you call upon the resources of your sanctuary to call a problem, say what you want to do, which you've already discussed with the goose. I will then tell you one of four conditions that you need to fulfill to complete your solution. Okay. <laughs> and 
And because you kind of set this up earlier, I'm just resolving. Okay. Look, here's the thing. is You mentioned potential artifacts that might be able to help it. And 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 there's, there's there's things I can think of that that might be able to help, but the problem is, is I can't go and get them. You're gonna have to. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to go deeper in here, more than just this little part where you are. You're gonna have to go deeper into the world where things might not necessarily be as tame and as calm as they are here. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to bring your friends for help, too. Okay? Because what lies beyond there is pretty dangerous. Right? So, you guys, whatever is that is back there, whether it's it's, it's old enemies or the dragons, uh, you know, it, it, whether it's, you know, giant toads or, or, or pixelated octopi or whatever that could be there, that's probably going to be very dangerous. And in, in somewhere in there, somewhere deep in here, you're gonna find you're gonna find an idol of some sort. I'm trying to remember what it looks like in a camp, but by the time you gather everyone together, I'll have the description for you. You gotta look through a couple of archives. But that Trick. idol. Trick pulls out his phone and starts texting while the goose is still finishing the description. That idol may just be what it takes to save your friend. So, so Drake shoots out a group message. We may have a solution to Gigi's problem. Get to the house. Get get to my house. Well, uh, no, no, here, it looks like And don't tell anyone to get here now. Okay? It's going to take a couple of days for me to find out what exactly it looks like. Oh, well, fine. So, Never mind. Never mind the now, guys. Uh, uh, when, so when as the soon as I tells... know what you're looking for, I'll let you know, and then you guys can come. Okay? Alex texts back. Don't play with my feelings like this. <laughs> and Gigi texts back a message that's like clearly talking about the homecoming, and then she follows up immediately after. Oh, I didn't mean to send that yet. Uh, I... okay. And that is where we're going to fade to black. So next time is going to be homecoming part two. Homecoming part two. We'll Uh-oh. actually get to it this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we do have one final thing that we need to do here, and that is, of course, end of session moves. So, at the end of every session, choose one. Grow closer to the team, grow into your own image of yourself, and grow away from the team. So, Alex, go first. I'm growing away from the team. I'm sorry. Uh, explain who, why you feel detached, and remove influence from that person. Oh, gee, let me think here. Uh, I'm removing influence <laughs> from Gianna because I feel really detached from her at the moment. Not necessarily just because of what she said, but because of the fact that he feels responsible for her condition. Fair I enough. actually don't have influence over You don't? But she can still... No, she, she, uh, she relinquished it to give you a condition, but that still qualifies. Okay. Because that makes a ton of sense. I didn't realize she... I, I, I actually didn't realize that she burned her influence. Yes, when you, when, you, when you take advantage of her influence... Gotcha. The minus... You relinquish your influence to do one of the. Th- Got it. Give them minus two on a roll they just made. Take an additional plus one on a move, targeting them after the roll or inflict the condition. Got it. Part of that part of the powerful blow is inflict the condition. Got it. All right. So Drake. Uh huh. Are you growing closer to the team, growing into your own image, or? I'd say closer to the team. All righty. Who? Uh, Gigi. Okay. So, uh, give that uh, give influence to Gianna, which she now hands so back. Long. And uh, you either get to clear a condition or mark potential. I'm going to clear the last condition I've got. Okay. And Gianna, I'm pretty sure I know this answer. Actually, I was debating between two things, but it actually is going to be growing closer to the team. And I was going to say growing closer to Jake, Drake because of like, him taking the time taking the sanctuary and all the conversations. Fair enough. Alrighty. Drake, do you have influence over Gianna already? I don't. Okay, well you now have it. And Gianna, I'm assuming you're clearing a condition probably wise to do so <laughs> let's get rid of hopeless because that conversation with dad yep all right so with that thank you all very much for watching our straight to dvd episode which is going to be in issue nine homecoming potentially part one who knows uh but it's definitely there it'll be up here soon so again thank you all for watching so on behalf of chameleon ice no racer and opt lawyer i am tg reminding everybody to of course as always keep hailing
Bye, all.